just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, almost nine o'clock. Let me tell you why I'm home. Why am I up? Anyway, so months ago, two of the hygienists that work today, they requested today off. And then the doctor that works today, the only one doctor that works today, he is out of town or was out of town all this week for a dental convention. So they asked us in the front, oh, the front office girls can still work. And we were like, no. So we took the day off. Tomorrow morning, today, we're gonna sleep in and whatever. It's nine o'clock and I'm up. I'm cleaning the house. The house is clean. I'm just going to do the dishes from last night because when my son cooks, the whole kitchen is in trouble. And then look at the sink. All this from one person. How? How do you manage to use every, almost every cup we have? <laughs> yeah. I usually never show you guys my dishes, but just don't. And they wonder why I say I can't wait till they move out. I'm going to start on dinner. Okay, and the reason why I'm starting on dinner so early is because I'm going to slow cook a pot roast. I'm trying something different this time with the sauce. I hope it turns out okay. I always stab holes in my pot roast and then I put garlic in there and I season my garlic with salt and pepper. And I think I told you guys before that before, that's a little trick my grandmother taught us. And it gives the roast a really good flavor through and through. And she did that to her turkeys. I'm using this teriyaki sauce that I've used for chicken before and it says that you can use it for any meats so we're going to see how this turns out on my pot roast so I'm gonna let this marinate for like an hour I actually meant to do it last night but I forgot I was really tired after the Bible study so yeah I'm gonna let this marinate for about an hour then I'm going to stick it in the oven on 200 and let it slow cook all day and if you guys are wondering why my pot roast is so plain, like with no potatoes or carrots or any of those other kind of vegetables, is because my kids won't eat it. And when I started realizing they would eat the meat and the gravy with the rice, whatever, but they, they would leave the vegetables, I just stopped making it. I used to put a little in there for me, but I just stopped doing it because I'm like, you know what, it's a waste and sometimes I don't even eat all of the vegetables. So yeah, our pot roasts are pretty plain around here so I'm about to leave and run a few errands and then come back and see that's the thing okay I'm weird when I cook in my slow cooker I won't leave it plugged when we're not home because I'm just one of those paranoid people who are afraid of my house burning down yeah even though I know I technically can, I won't do it. Oven, it's on, it's on 200. I put my pot roast in there. But Savannah's coming with me also. Speaking of Savannah. Who wears a jacket in 90 degree weather? This is what's for dinner. We're not having corn dogs. Corn dogs, dogs are <laughs> Ew. Wait, it's blurry. There we go. Better not zoom in. I don't even know how to do that. Freeze frame. It's not. Is this thing on? Hello, hello, testing. I don't care. So we came back from running errands. Went to Winco, went to a couple places. So we're at home, as you can see. And I am actually cooking greens, you guys. So what are you doing? Making corn dog bites. Making corn dog bites. I know. <laughs> he is cute. So I don't know. How does it feel to be out of school? It feels like it's just summertime. Are you bored? Yes, I am bored actually. Because she's home all day by herself until somebody comes home and then... My, 
I don't talk to anyone all day until they come home and they just go to sleep and they come home. Yeah, and so, she keeps ew. following people around. And so, I only person I'm here all day with is Boston, and he follows me around all day. Yeah. All right. Oh, so you guys, I have started the greens and I do have the ham hocks and well it's not ham hocks it's turkey necks and turkey tails that I put in there they're smoked so I'm just gonna let that steam and I am continuing slow cooking the roast and just getting dinner ready look who's waiting to get in you guys just took him out to go potty and I want you guys to see what he does when he's ready to come in he scratches on the glass. Come on. Probably hears me here, so he won't do it. He's so cute, you guys. He doesn't see me? He doesn't see me? That's weird. Maybe there's a glare. I don't know. Or maybe he's just enjoying being outside. And I'm just watching Little House on the Prairie, of course. Y'all remember me, no Mrs. Olson, and her daughter Nellie? They were the two nastiest women in Walnut Grove. Yeah, you guys, I have no life. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go potty. He's making a mad dash, you guys. He has to go. You gotta go. All right. Go potty. Go. Okay, so this is what happens when your kids ask for donuts for breakfast. I just went to a basic donut shop. Nothing spectacular. I'm not having any though. I'm about to make me bacon and eggs. So I've only been gone like 20 minutes, but nobody thought to bring Boston in. And he's standing there patiently waiting. You ready to come in, boy? Huh? You ready to come in? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there you go. Okay, come on. Come on. See, he's so good. When you say wait, he waits. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Nope, you know you're not supposed to be in the kitchen. Out the kitchen, Boston. Out. Good boy. So I'm just sitting here doing what I do best <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon when I don't have anything to do. Sitting in my favorite spot, watching a movie on Netflix. It's called Killer Cove. And it's just starting. Savannah is in her room watching Riverdale. Tariq is playing his piano. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. And Cheyenne is at work. So nothing much at all. And as you can see, Boston's not there. He is with Savannah because when Savannah's home, he ignores me. <laughs> so yeah, doing nothing. And it's really pretty outside today. So we are actually about to go to a birthday party for a church member's son who is turning one. And I can't show you guys the inside because it's their address. But it's so cute because the dad likes to go fishing and they made this like fishing, whatever you call it, jacket um, invitation. And right here where you see the holes, they had this. Actually, I can show you guys this part, how it says our little fisherman's is old officially turning one. Isn't that cute? Hook up with us to celebrate Ezekiel's first birthday. So yeah, I think this is a super cute idea, you guys. So y'all, I changed the look of how this is. Ignore this. This is what we bring out um, when we want to watch a movie or whatever like that because Tyreek actually has the Xbox in his room. So I moved this over here. This stand was over here and I had this on top and it was over here so I decided to bring it down I just want to freshen things up a little bit until I buy new decorations and make this prettier um, 
And so this right here, you guys, so this is a different type of, they're fake of course, because you guys know me. This is a different type of flower than this right here. And I had one in here, which was over there. And the other one, I had it in this thing right here. <laughs> so I combined it, put it in that vase and set it over here. And yes, that's the picture of my dad, you guys. So that's there for now. And until I get brand new decorations or figure out how I want to do this, this is gonna be like this. I absolutely love this. This is really, really heavy, you guys. But I don't know what to do with it. I won't give it away because it was a housewarming gift from a friend. And I love it, I just don't know what to do with it. So yeah, I'm eventually going to get a new table runner, if that's what you want to call that. Um, something, I don't know, just something different. And maybe get one that matches this one. That way they can, I don't know, just look a little bit better. So, yeah, just to freshen things up a little bit. And I think I'm actually going to start training Boston to lay on the floor. Because my pillows are over there. And I like having them on the couch. Except when people are over. So, yeah. And then eventually all this is going to be changed and all this. But you guys... I'm not done with this right here, or I haven't started the one down the hall, and I need to finish doing this. Oh yeah, you guys, Savannah got a bike for her graduation gift. She requested this from her father. So anyway, I have to finish painting this. And y'all, I'm so all over the place. The project that I started in my room, I haven't even finished completing that. And I want to go out into the backyard and fix that up. I need to make myself stick to one thing. I'm not even done with the little projects here in the house. But I want to jump out into the backyard. And I'm not letting myself do that because I said, no, when I jump out into the backyard, I'll do spiders and I don't do the bugs or whatever. So I will have someone else come out there and do it or have Tyreek help me to do whatever I need to do. Anyway, I need to stick with things on the inside of the house first and get everything taken care of. And then go to the backyard. So... So we're at Walmart trying to find something for this kid. Look what we found. This makes me uncomfortable. Oops, sorry. Look, read it though. It's a fun, ugly monster, the Fuggler. This makes me very uncomfortable, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. What it says, if you're holding this box, you've already made a terrible mistake. Just put it down, back away slowly, unless you're planning to force this Fuggler on your nemesis in which case well played adopt at your own risk no thank you it's okay so ugly. It is. Oh, these are so cute it's like dirt and worm
some fish from the party. They were letting us take them home. I didn't take any home. Be careful. Um, she had one die already, and she named that one Billy. No. Yes, you did. Billy. That's what I just said. Oh, she named the big one Billy. Whoa. Ow. That hurt my ears. I know and all the names now. Then the old white one is Jake. The white that one right there that one's Tyler. That one's um no 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 that's. Restart this. <laughs> Cut all that out. Okay. okay. So this is Billy. The all white one is Jake. That's Looney, Luna, and Sephora. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, these are our fishes. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they live past tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> one didn't. She flushed them down the toilet. Be careful. Wait, how am I going to get these rocks in there first? What if I smash them? No, use the net. Okay. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Hopefully they live. <laughs>